trying not to ask if it's working. But I am asking if it's working. It is working. The stream is up. Nothing happened. I didn't just I didn't just try and stream and uh, realize pretty much half of the buttons were bound to the keyboard and half were bound to the controller. These are issues you don't get from, from other streams. These, these are unique issues just to me. I, I could have let that play, actually. This is Croc, Legend of the Gobbos. Croc needs no introduction. Everyone knows Croc. It's Croc. Look at that. I'm pressing the buttons on my controller and it's moving my uh, thingy in the menu. We have to get to the snow levels because it's Christmas and that's just important. And so the adventure begins. Croc is a word PlayStation 1, uh, as you may be able to see. Um, it does use the analog stick, but not well. Um, Croc was... I mean, I, I thought Croc was more of a more of a deal when I was a kid, because... Uh, oh, that, that bee can hit you, it's just got a very specific hitbox. Let me use... Oh, the camera's not working for Croc. Um... I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, look at this. We can do this this cool little sidestep move that takes a hundred years to get anywhere. Um, yeah, Croc was kind of a mascot platformer for the PS1, the console that didn't really have one defining uh, platformer mascot. It's got a couple who were huge. Croc, Croc, sadly, wasn't quite up there. But Croc was more like your your cool. 10 year old brother was playing Crash Bandicoot and uh, Croc has fallen in the lava and lost all of his coins. That's fine. I'm sure this game for children will be able to defeat very easily. Especially after all that practice we had during the silent bomber incident. But like, uh, you, you, your cool older brother could play the Crash Bandicoot and you were stuck. You, you, you par six-year-old self was stuck playing Croc. That's how I always saw Croc. I always, <laughs> always seemed a bit young for me, even when I was like eight. We've again injured Croc. I, I feel horrible remorse for my actions. Croc is having a terrible day. He keeps... There's a lot more lava around than you'd expect to just be hanging out in Crook's backyard. And the camera, shockingly, is worse than I remember. And I've missed a, a coloured gem. Oh, okay, we're good. I don't know if we're good on the coloured gem situation. But we're definitely... Uh, not crashed. Controls seem to be working. I'm gonna cross my fingers on that one. Um, it's always something. Oh, yeah, that's just Sam. Croc can pick his gems up if. Uh... Oh, I remembered that there was something in there, but not what. And I didn't remember how long it took for Croc to load every single uh, screen here. Oh, can just make it. Croc, what can he do? He can do that. Um, he can get hit, he can pick up his gems, he can do this tail attack that, uh, he spins around, and if there's an enemy there, they explode into stars and come back a couple of seconds later. The stomp does not kill enemies, it is a different thing. It's for breaking boxes only. Uh, I think there's bosses it works on. And if you get all the coloured gems, you get to go to the bonus game, which tends to be... How could anyone get all these gems? They're too high up! Impossible, I tell you. Okay. Yeah, you, you hold the jump button, shockingly. Croc can sail on balloons, he can push boxes, he can jump. Um, he has a shadow, but the camera's in very close, so you can't use it to land your jumps very well. Also, Croc does have kind of a... kind of a problem in that, um... If you're running, he doesn't always jump the way you want him to. And you can't 
run and mash jump, because hitting jump twice does the does the stomp. So later when we're jumping across like platforms that break and uh we are trying to move and jump at the same time. Yeah, it's a little tricky. Although that might just be that's the thing I remember. We're gonna go up here. He can climb walls, but he gets very tired and starts making uh, strange sounds. Poor Croc! For tonight, I planned uh, just for no reason. We're gonna play some random, random platformers I've got installed. I think maybe just random PS1 games in general. Ow! This demon has shot me with a fireball. Croc doesn't really care about being hit by enemies as long as he's got gems around. Let's check what's in here. Whoop. I don't know which way is the right way, and I probably won't be able to come back. But I need all the I need all the coloured gems. There's uh, two sorts of collectibles. Whoops. Also, Croc got an OST that kind of slaps. Um. I love that. <laughs> it's the only game I've ever played where clicking is incorporated in the soundtrack. The clicking of human fingers. There's two sorts of collectible. Um, on each level, there is. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, there is the colored gems. You get five of those, you get to go to the bonus stage at the end. You get all the bonus stages. You get a puzzle piece, and you get all the puzzle pieces. You just got yourself a secret level. Um, it's not very good. It takes a lot. Of, it takes a lot again. Uh, alternately, if you there's there's also the little uh, the weird little dudes who are trapped in cages. And stuff. This guy, this guy here, these big googly eye orb people. Those are the gobbles. Of legend, the legends you may have heard of the Gobbos. That's that. Uh, I think we did go the wrong way earlier, which is fine. We don't need the secret level. Um, can't remember <laughs> what I was gonna say about them. I can't remember what they'll do. I think did they just give you extra life? The car do. I must do something. Maybe those are what gives you the secret level. I don't know. I'm very old and I played this game as a baby and I thought it was too young for me. So it never got that much of my attention and I never finished it. I did actually have a push to finish it when I was like 11. And I got very annoyed with uh, what I perceived as a, a problem with the controls that, that meant I couldn't jump good. The game isn't working! That's why I keep falling in these pits. Whoop. Camera, please. You stand on the button. Platform goes. How does it do that when it's made of earth? What mechanism is this? What secrets do the gobbles know that the mall man does not? There's a treasure here somewhere. Yeah, there. What is it? I don't remember what it is, I just remember that it's there. Croc will no longer move. Okay. Did... Thought I died from walking into the spikes. But I am, in fact, doing it right, as, as if there was ever any doubt. That man's on fire. <laughs> How could anyone dodge this? This game's for children, it's too hard. Oh, almost just threw myself off the edge. Almost died in this game made for it. But worry not everyone. Croc is safe. How is the sound on this? Is it... Yeah, the game audio is probably a bit loud in there. Let me change that. Is that okay? I mean, it's just me here. <laughs> no one's gonna tell me. <laughs> it's just me and Crocky. 
and the gobbles of legend. What a title, though. Croc Legend of the Gobbles. It's got a little of that Crimes of Grindelwald energy. You love to see it. We must save the little man. He could be in any one of these boxes. They're too fast. This game's for children. I don't understand. I think he's nuts. Lucky guess, we'll call it. There's substantial loading times every time you do anything in Croc. That, that kind of makes you th think, uh, when you play these old games and there's so much downtime, like, we had... Did we really have nothing better to do than play Croc? Did we really have nothing better to do than play RuneScape? It takes like an hour to do anything in RuneScape. <laughs> what were we doing as a kid? Fallen. These uh, weird abominations used to scare me. I can't be that young then. Oh, look at that. Bloody moves, doesn't it? I can't be that young then. I remember those weird things. Uh, I didn't like them. I think the platform is too far away, but I do not have any uh, means to accurately judge. Mm, that seemed like you should have grabbed. You're letting the team down, Crow. Croc, please. Okay. Um, apparently we're jumping out from a, a bad angle. We can't maybe... We've walked into an abomination. I think they're meant to be rats, but they don't look like rats. They have rat tails for sure, but... Look at that guy. It's not a rat. One day, I'm going to make this jump, and you're all... Then he'll be laughing, huh? When I have all the gobbles, and you have none, there are no gobbles left for you. Let's go in the door before we do whatever shenanigans are there. There's a gobble just hanging out down there, that's fine. Oh, Animus. Ah, you see, this one's just full of jelly. Can't do nothing with that. What we can do, though, is go for the high score. And Yazoo, our way all the way down the stairs. And look how many of those we've got, folks. We're bloody rich. Croc can retire after this. Bloody. Okay, and now we save the little man. I'm going to try and pick up the collectibles, because, you know, why not, right? <laughs> it's a game about collectibles and picking them up. We're only playing half the dang game if we ignore all the little men. But I don't really care if I miss them. Oh, camera out of time there. What did Button do? Ah, platform. That man's yelling at me, but I, I have not the means to save him. He can make as much noise as he wants. I have no key. Ah. I kind of remember that one. When we get to, like, the second stage, then we'll be, uh, Actually, I, I don't know. I do remember several bits. We've got the uh, the color gems, folks. We can go to the extra level. It's an exciting croc prospect. What is this? Okay. We have to explode the sheep. I understand. You could have just said. Oh, Croc's kind of rotated a bit. Why do you think Croc wants to murder these sheep? 
What device is this? The sheep murdering machine. Who made this? What did they think they were doing at the time? Oh. Oh no. We lost the rhythm, folks. I'm gonna fall off the buttons. <laughs> this game's too hard, though. Seriously, this is, uh... You got some lives. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that's a perfectly adequate scar on the sheep killing machine. It's Blair of the Feeble. When I was a kid, I thought the level was named after the boss, and the boss was called Blair the Feeble. Because I, I tended to just read some of the letters and words. I'm slightly dyslexic, so the way B1 Lair shows up there, just, just registered as Blair. Yeah. <laughs> so here's Blair the Feeble. There's not much of a story behind that when you think about it. It's different colours than I remember, and that scares me. I'm getting some Mandela effect happening here. <laughs> Why has he got green shoes? Why is Blair the Feeble wearing green shoes? This is just wrong, Fox. In my universe, what well, black shoes. Oh, red? Red, I think? Brown? Red, brown. Maybe I don't know anything. It's possible. This is a uh, crux first encounter with bottomless pits. Like most platformers of the era, if you're gonna die in crux, you're probably gonna die from a bottomless pit. Uh, that was a, a double click, almost uh, an accidental double jump press, almost very uh, succinctly demonstrating my point about bottomless pits. But we don't have to stay around here for long. And Blair's right ahead. Wait for the fireball. Yeah. We can do it. We can play video games for children. I'm never playing a game made for adults uh, on stream again. Which is just crock from here on. Crack, please. <laughs> the box, crack, please. We have 48 bloody gems. You get 100 of those. You get an extra life. And they add up between levels. He's coming. He's right behind us. It's Blair. Ah, oh, he stopped. He's, he's not. He's not got a lot of... He lacks stamina, but he makes up for it in Tanasa. Look at this guy. Barely walk with his giant clown shoes, but he still keeps coming. We could all learn a lot from Blair the Feeble. I wonder if he has a name. A real name given to him on purpose. And you might have thought that looked easy, but using the, uh, the directional buttons to run in a circle like that on my controller kind of hurt my fingers. Yeah, think about that. And he turns back into a banana and walks away. I haven't, I haven't been doing as much video games as, as normal this year. Just in. It, it's normally my primary hobby, but every now and then I just get completely burnt out on the uh, gaming. I'm a fair weather gamer, folks, I'm sorry. Let's just keep doing whatever we're doing there until Croc decides to climb the wall. I think uh, this might be one of those games where jumping onto the wall doesn't work. You, you gotta. Why, why are you in such a hurry, Croc? Slow down, just walk into the thing. What is happening here? I don't trust this bridge. It looked to move as I came in. Never mind, I think it falls down after you go on it, but that was a very slow fall. 
Let's do the sidestep move here. It's more of a sidestep to line the up with stuff. Then, uh... Oh. Ow! You know all my gems in the hole? I, c I could actually die. I don't know where he is in 3D space. He's got a powerful, uh, advantage. Oh, the croc. The camera. It makes croc a lot more difficult than croc needs to be. It's okay, we're safe. We got, we got the, we got the gems. Now, you can see the little man out there. Should I, would I be able to get back up? Oh, never mind. The, all the level exit doors are down there. So, we're probably good. There's two of them! We missing any? We got all five. It's uh, one of those games where when you pick up one of the collectibles, it shows you at the top of the screen which one it was, which is always nice. Uh, it only does that for the gems and not for the little men. And I think you get, there's five uh, little men on each level. Gobbos, sorry. But there's also one in the secret bonus level. Uh, so on the sheep killing machine, we did fail to, to spring the uh, the extra guy. Tragic. He's, he's there forever now. Um, would you say Croc is facing directly towards land here? It worked out. I don't understand. Am I meant to guess? Because if I hold forwards, I can uh, do that. And I can take many guesses. I wish I'd uh, broke the top layer more intelligently. Okay, no, I think that's not what we do. Krog doesn't take fall damage. Oh, maybe that was what we do. We've learned. We've been duped. We now know not to second guess ourselves when it comes to croc. We have good croc instincts. That's good to know. I think I hit the desk. Did that? I mean, I definitely hit the desk. I, I punched the desk when I said that's good to know. This is one of those croc bangers, folks. I warned you. Oh. <laughs> Again, I was confused as to where he was in 3D space. We got the clicks coming in again. Now, this uh, gray. Croc can grab onto the bottom of this and climb along. You can also jump on top of it. Ah, oh, we have to go back now. Ow. Oh, he goes back up. Hmm. How is Croc gonna deal with this? Croc might not be bothered. Croc might not have the patience to save that little man. Um, he should have got himself trapped in a less... In a situation I could figure out in 10 seconds or less. Oh, was gonna take a quick look around there, but the camera dis decided I was not gonna do that. And there's another one of the guys behind us, so we don't wanna go too far too fast. Oh, that'll happen. We'd hit that. That feeling when you have no gems, and you open a gem box, and it's just one of those stupid little hostage guys. He's supposed to be rescued. Okay, this is fine. Just gotta get across the lab. Make it one simple. One simple jump! 
Ah, oh, look, it's one of these guys. It's like a Cuba. Everybody loves Cuba. No one hates Cuba. You know, some people like Cuba. You know, they say every game ever made is someone's favorite game. And that's crazy. That means not only does someone out there like Cuba, but they like Cuba more than every other game. Imagine that. Really getting me. I'm thinking about Cuba. I was consumed with rage. I'm not. I'm not a big Cuba guy. Just a respectful silence for the loading screen there. Couldn't help it. Don't know why. Don't know why I did that. Must be the the little fellas who get you the bonus level. Because the the gems just get you the the last of the little fellas, huh? Going to the bottomless pit. We did not get very many of them on this level. Although we can get two here. We got four. What more do you want? There's five plus one on each level, and we got four. That is, that is at least a C. That's a passing grade. What's this one then? I like to go to the bonus rooms to see what what dang nonsense it wants me to to do here. Croak makes a lot of sounds. Whoa! Look him go! Okay, so that's not where the key is. It's not hiding behind the gong. So it must be in one of these boxes. But it's not in... It's just floating in the air now. It was in one of those boxes. Okay. The, the thing just happened where I was running and I jumped. And Croc did not jump. I, my uh, childhood self is vindicated. Can I even reach? Now the rest of the box are gone. The rest of the box are gone. There's nothing I can do. Sorry, guy. It's not my fault. Blame the game. Arguably, I shouldn't have just mashed the button to, to go through all the boxes at once, and I should have uh, used my keen perceptive abilities to tell when the key appeared. But... It's Croc. Look at Croc. There we go. Look at Croc. He's got a little backpack. He's got a little tooth. Imagine being a crocodile with only one tooth. Horrifying. What do you do all day? Almost smashed that, but then I realized it's the only way I can get on top. Croc will uh, will checkmate you if you give it the chance. Although I can't get that, I can get the other box if I want. Sam with hair. This guy, this troll, back in my in my chat. I can't believe this. And now the box is running away. I do remember when we tried to play through this. Um, we did not have the controls set up properly. And when we say we got stuck in the desert area, uh, if I remember rightly, we were passing the controller and uh, and you got stuck in the desert area. I, I, I remember not being the one playing when, when Croc was uh, forever doomed to be in the desert area and not be able to leave the desert area. Yeah, this is the first game we ever streamed. It's the first game either of us ever streamed. Are these the important ones? Probably. It's just like Croc to leave the important gems there. Okay, we've got accusations that, that Croc controls like a fat man on a wheelchair. So if I ever get stuck at Croc, that's, uh, you know, it's the controls. Yeah, 
last time uh, I streamed, I was playing Silent Bomber, and I legit had the, the controls were not working. It was dropping inputs, and I know that doesn't happen in the actual game. I almost finished it, but then I got dunked a lot by the last boss, <laughs> and I beat him off stream. And I was gonna record. Are you? <laughs> I was going to record me beating the last guy. I was going to record, like, the last hit, just to prove I'd done it. But, uh, I did not click the record in time. And he was dead when I clicked it, so I just <laughs> recording myself being angry at the last cutscene. Sam with hair, in chat, is going to watch a film where James Codd plays a man with a lisp. Wait, what, what's your opinions on, on James Codd and Sam with hair? Just to make sure I'm thinking of the right person. I'm fairly sure I am. We're, we're huge James Carden fans, right? Croc has lost all of his coins. There's no way I could have known Croc couldn't made that jump. That was a poor effort on Croc's part. We love him a whole lot, especially when he has a lisp. We have Puddle of Water, we have Mushrooms, we have Tears Between the Textures, which I assume are a product of emulation. Okay. Thing about crocodiles, they can swim. You can have to do underwater levels in this. Controls like a dream. Yep, there he goes, between every one of the coins. That's what I was going for. Also, very slow. Is James Carden the hand from the emoji movie? In which case, love that guy. Have we talked about the fact that we uh, went to see the emoji movie unreleased? <laughs> because we both dared each other. And from now on, we both immediately back out if it seems like we're in a position where we may have to dare the other person to go see a film. It's a good thing we saw the Emoji movie, or we'd have watched Johnny English 3, I think. Is Pipe out? Pipe is out. But we came from up, and we left sideways. This is wrong. <laughs> we may have lost the redoubtable brigand Sam with hair from chat. However, it's fight now with Flubber. some law here. I'm going to be quiet for a minute. <laughs> Where did the boxing gloves come from? Well, that's my suspension of disbelief ruined. But it is still fight night with Flippy. And I can't remember how you beat Flibby, so this could be this could be trouble, folks. We got bombless pits, we got Flibbies, we got it's all going on. Uh, the the Croc stream, the original Croc stream, me and Sam, that's lost the history. That was before I realized you needed to manually. Set up, uh, you had to tell Twitch that you wanted it to remember you'd done a thing. They wanted to save the video. Save the VOD. Is that kind of luck? He was gone. We did. Oh. Krog doesn't jump as high backwards as he does forwards. That's kind of annoying. Yep. Thank you for determining that box while I was, uh,. That was science, not just failing to make a jump. Kaboof! 
Kapow! I'm planning to move on to... Oh. Got a little confused there. Uh, don't exactly know why, just something felt wrong. <laughs> might have been a camera move, it might have been... A subtle screen wobble that got going when I was on the platform. Fell on nervous. Croc has scared me. Oh, it's not looking good, folks. He's wearing boxing gloves. Oh. I think I've worked out how I hit him. Wow! I'm gonna have to... Oh. Oh! He doesn't, he doesn't get tired if he thinks he's hit. Oh, never mind. Wrong sort of punch. Never gonna get tired doing that punch. Oh, am I supposed to hit him while he's cheering now? What do we do about this flipping? Okay, that, that one guy. Whoa, he's really going for it. And he's not even tired. And I've touched his leg. Seems like you're more likely to get hit uh, accidentally walking into his knee than you are getting hit by the, the punches. Exactly, especially considering they seem to have absolutely no hitbox on them. He died. Eviscerate. Didn't even leave the cops. Just, just popped out of existence. Finish it, Croc. Never. And then that happened, and Croc went somewhere else. This is why we're playing Croc. It has snow in it. I just thought, what's a good Christmas game? I don't know, crack has snow in it. Maybe we should end Crook's adventure for now. Look at that, snow. You gonna tell me it's not Christmas? Counterpoint, snow. I win. Destroyed with facts and logic. This guy. He'll jump up and down on top of the, uh, the railing here. And Croc will let go if he uh, if he's on there when the guy stomps. Well, if he's under the guy when he stomps. Also, there's ice in this game. Croc be sliding. We gotta get under him quick, folks. He's gonna do a jump. Actually, is there anything over here? <laughs> Good question. And now, Croc can swim, but this water, this particular water, too bloody cold, isn't it? Crocodile. He's not, he's not used to swimming in arctic conditions. You can't expect Croc to be able to survive in such, such conditions. Let me just try and jump on top. There we go. Arguably a little harder than it needs to be because of the. Oh, almost ran off the edge there. Because of the random inclusion of just ice. Here's ice. Oh, God. <laughs> that was further away than I thought. Can we get on top? I don't think we can. Had to judge, but looks too hard. One crop can only do so much. We seem to be on land now. Let's drop down. It's very slow to climb. Also to swim, uh, to do the little sidestep. There's a lot of ways to go slow and crop. There's not a lot of ways to go fast. It's a thinking man's game. You take your time here. You enjoy every minute of crop. Why are you in a rush? We got Croc here, guy. You won't want it to end. Uh, the reason... Hmm. 
that just went wrong, didn't it? Uh, I wasn't quite lined up, and when I realized I wasn't quite lined up is when I was falling to my death. The camera, it's uh, special. They don't make them like they used to. I wonder why. Crap, please. Crap, we, we have to get to the jelly. It's vitally important. Okay, we really need to be sure that we're lined up here. Oh, we are going way out of the way off into that wall, guy. And that's how you croc. Ladies and gentlemen. You think I can't croc? What do you think we're doing over here? This is croc. This is what we do. This is every day. It's every day, bro. Me and Sam need to stream Ross Gump Queen again. That one went really well. We had the control set wrong. Uh, we kept falling in a hole a lot. Uh, I did upload that one to YouTube, but I only uploaded the first half. Because the second half was just falling in the same hole again for the entire rest of the stream. Oh. And I didn't think that was, uh, even by my standards, I think that were great content. Just try and line this one up. Whoa! <laughs> it's a little hard to stop him going when he gets going. That croc, he'll, uh... He's got places to go. Sometimes. He, he has weird momentum. And you don't want to use the analog sticks because it seems like it's just the same four directions. There's no there's no actual analog movement. It's just maps the analog stick to the four directions. The four directions of forwards, backwards, and turn. Turn left and turn right. Do we have all the colored gems? We do. We get to check out this bonus game. Also, we're gonna save this guy. We're gonna very carefully not walk off the edge. Even though the camera is bad and wrong. We go. What's in here? Some of these uh, bonus games can be harder than the actual levels. Ooh, that were a, a nice little uh, trick then. Really, Croc is the predecessor to I Want to Be the Guy. It will send you out a door with pre-existing forward momentum. And uh, just let you slide to your death while you're trying to take stock of the situation. That's what Croc will do. Croc treats you like an adult. And that's something that's missing from, uh, from modern games. I hope no one walked in the stream while I was saying that and thought I was being serious. We got all six all man. For the first time in like 10 levels. In a game made for babies. We have achieved a crock 100%. Is that enough croc? That's been like an hour of croc. We could keep croc. We could go more croc. We have to be really careful. It sounds like croc might be getting difficult, so we're going to save here. Maybe come back to croc another day. Uh, I'm going to close the stream down a second. L looks good. And, uh... Oh yeah, this will be a fresh memory card. I'm uh, using, uh... I forgot to... I am using... Since last time I was having so much trouble, uh, I updated my uh, EPSXE. I mean, my real legitimate PlayStation that exists in real life. Uh, I updated it. And uh, I forgot to transfer the save files over. And also, I set my controls up wrong and had to do that one. Yeah, I'm going to drop the stream for a minute, uh, come back playing something else probably something with jumping actually you know what i'm maybe not i've got an idea i got an idea yeah stay tuned for that got an idea for 